Cool. So what other common misunderstandings do you think you've seen from the burden of proof or anything like that? Um, well, one of them kind of comes from the theist side. Um, like specific to this discussion, um, where they say in order to not believe in order to believe that there is not a God, you have to be able to prove beyond any shadow of a doubt that there there is no God. Um and I don't think that's an actual burden that comes from saying you believe there is no God. No, definitely not. I don't that yeah, again, I think that's one of the problems with burden of proof though, isn't it? Because the word proof is in there, they think that all of a sudden you absolutely have to prove your position. Yet I suppose in a way that's kind of special pleading because they can't absolutely prove their position either. Yeah. And a lot of the times um you'll get people say, well, you have to prove this. Um, and this comes from atheists. Um, you have to prove this. You've made this claim. But then they'll make counterclaims, which they will then say, well, I'm not the one making the positive claim, so therefore I don't have a burden of proof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of another misunderstanding of the burden of proof. Yeah. Because if you've made a counterclaim, you've still made a claim and you have to go the justification for that claim yeah i mean even if it's well i think the the bible's full of errors you, you know okay so show how they're full of errors then because that you've suddenly made a, a claim there and realistically it's probably quite easy to find i've found a, a number in my time <laughs> yeah um uh just to catch up on the chat yes uh greg uh even though it doesn't fully come through to the um the chat window i can see it in my personal chat window so i will read out your um burden of proof for disbelieving gods exists um when we come to to that bit as well um so yeah that's that's not a problem so don't worry it's not limited um <laughs> yeah lb's talking about the uh hide the ball argument <laughs> it's good <laughs> yeah a few people Ozzy, have been um uh watching that that video that you you did with us um recently and and uh Everyone loves you. <laughs> you. You got a load of new fans. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Phil brings up another one. Um, <laughs> negative claims don't have a burden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it has become this meme that exists within the skeptic and atheist community that it is only positive claims that. Oh, we've lost you again there. But yes, you're right. There is that meme that's gone on where it's only positive claims um, that that get this. And uh, it's 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 a shame, really, because when you understand that justification is simply just um, providing your your reasoning for your holding your your position, um, at, at least in general, unless you're saying something. No, this definitely is true. Um, then realistically, is it that hard? I mean, we're going to show you how we do it, and you can tell us if you think that's enough of a justification.